Welcome back everyone. This time we are going to start working with color. In this case I am using the line art I made for my fox head design to show you how to work the base color step. The base color is basically deciding what main colors we will use in every section of the design. This is just the base so in this step we won't be doing any type of shading or lighting. That's what the next step is for. For starters I have come up with some basic color palette that I will be using for the three designs. This consists of three basic color tones, yellow, red and blue, and two tones of purple as complementary ones. The three basic colors will make the design pop and be eye-catching, while the other two will be used on some of the details. Keep in mind that aside from these five colors, we can add other tones that we might consider appropriate during the process. This palette is just so we have some starting colors, but of course, some more will come along the way. Once you've decided what colors you are going to use, we will begin by creating a new layer and group and renaming it to color. After we have this layer selected, we will select the lasso tool from our toolbar. This is a really handy tool for base color since it lets you make a selection of the parts of the illustration that you want to add color to. Using a steady hand, we will go all around the head's outline. Be aware that everything within the selection will be painted with the bucket tool. So take notice of not selecting areas that are not part of that which you want to add color to. Keep in mind as well that some of these parts will be colored on a layer on top of the one you are currently working on. So coloring over these sections will have no effect on the final result. It's good to keep in mind what order you are going to give your color layers. Once you are done selecting the area that you want to add color to, get the eyedrop tool and select the color from the palette. In this case I've chosen the color red. Once this color is selected, select the bucket tool and just click in the selection. You'll see that the whole sector that was selected is now colored. This procedure is to be repeated with every part of the illustration that requires a different color. As I mentioned before, Keep in mind the order of the color layers because this can be used to your advantage and be extra sure that each color you are applying is on its own separate layer. This will come in super handy in the next step and is also useful if you want to modify a certain color on its own. When selecting new colors to use, be sure that they are near the same hue of the same palette that you chose and that they do not compete with the main bright colors but that they complement them and make them pop out even more. Some artists will rather paint the whole sector by hand, which means using only the brush tool and no lasso, but I consider that using the lasso carefully is as good as painting it all manually, as much it helps prevent small imperfections such as spots where the color is missing. What I did for the other illustrations was to make the main color another one other than the red I'm using for this one. For example, the third design's main color is blue. This will give some nice variety to the stickers as a group, and the diverse use of the same palette on all of them will also give a connection between the designs. Your task now is to apply this base color step to your three designs. Keep in mind the bright colors on the main palette and to apply each main color to each one of your illustrations so you don't end up with a sticker pack where all the stickers have the same color scheme. Unless that was your main idea, in which case I say go for it. Choosing colors effectively comes with practice too. In time you won't be needing to create a palette to even start, and you can just work them on the fly as you go. Also, I can't stress this enough, but remember to do every color in a different layer. In this case, for example, the red color on the face is in a different layer than the purple on the nose or the light purple on the skulls. This is because, as I mentioned earlier, this will not only help you if you by any reason want to modify a single color on the illustration, but also because we will be using clipping masks in the next step, 
which will save us a lot of time when working on shades, lighting and gradients. Our next and final step regarding the sticker designs will be done on our third design, which as you will see has blue as a main color as well as other colors from the same palette, but applied in different amounts. So that's all for this step. Once you are done with the base colors on your three designs, we can start giving some volume and strength to the design. So yeah, I'll see you there.